Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modest series. We'll be jumping in again and seeing who we randomize as. We're on a sick streak right now. I'm really, like, I really want to try and get a good streak going this time around. So, I'm going to I'm gonna kind of try hard at this. I'm going to kind of try hard. I've been playing bad in some runs here and there, but either way. But yes, we do have a new mod today as well. And I'm not talking about the hit mod um, by the Turtle Melon, the better chess pools. Because that is a great mod. That's very fantastic. Also, Explosivo is great. Thank you, Mimic. God damn you. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, that that is a hit mod that we are using that is utterly fantastic and is amazing and everyone should download. But we are also using another new mod, which you might be able to already see. We are using, um, I believe it's called, come on, come on, come on. Oh, you bastard. I really tried very hard then to get that guy to walk into the... Uh, <laughs> Walk into that there. But yeah, we are using... Let me get the name of the mod just so I get this correct. Because it's a name I don't quite remember. Improved Backdrops and Visuals. And this is basically an overhaul of every single backdrop of every single floor in the game. Or at least I think it's every single floor. It seemed to be from the preview pictures. And there is there has been other mods like it. But um, at least in my opinion, the other ones haven't been as true to vanilla. They've been a little bit different. And... This one is very, very truth as vanilla. I'll take this pill. Yay. <laughs> I don't regret that at all. I was like, yes, let's let's try and get our win streak going this time round. Immediately takes damage to a pedestal mimic and accidentally uh, takes a health down pill. Going well. It's 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 going really, really well. Um <laughs> Explosivo should be like an absolute like win for us though. I think we're gonna have a good time with that. I'm just trying to proc the shots now. I really don't want to kill anything that has an Explosivo shot on it. Just because of the collateral damage here. Um, but yes, it seems very sort of vanilla enhanced is what I'll call it. It's just a better vanilla. So really like the look of that. I'm going to be playing with that and trying it out, seeing what I think. Some floors like this floor are, are quite subtle differences. Uh, but some other floors you might notice some more differences. One thing the mod did say is that um, some floors have... Visual differences in if you have stage API or not, and I do not, and I never will, because that mod is out of date and doesn't really work. Um, causes a lot of issues, so, yeah, we might see some issues with that, or, or at least some differences, but other than that, it should be fine. Right, I love the fact that we're starting with Petrified Poop here. I just love the Blue Baby rework altogether. Getting all these little dips, it just makes the character so much more fresh and interesting. Let's go, hopefully we get some help. Like, HP here. What what would be good? I think, like, maybe a latch key would be quite nice. Here we go. You can clearly see the boss room here is vastly improved. So it's uh, very, very bloody, which I really, really like. I think that looks really, really good. Uh, one moment. Yes, carry on. But, yeah, I'm going to say um, the, the, the boss room is looking much bloodier right now. But, yeah, that, that kind of leads us to the question, sort of. That. I've, I've been asking these questions at the start of every episode or near the start. If you could visually overhaul one thing in the Binding of Isaac, whether that be like a one single item, a character... Oh, we got Latch Key! I don't know if I actually said it. I can't remember if I actually said it, but that was the item I had in my head for like, what item do we want? And I was thinking Latch Key. And we actually got Latch Key. Because I was like, I need keys. I need a soul heart. I want luck. And we got all of them. That's awesome. Um... But yeah, what would be the one thing that you, if you could visually overhaul anything about your eyes, like you could visually overhaul some trinkets or some items or whatnot, like what would that be? Uh, look down. <laughs> you fucking game. <laughs> That's evil. I, I ask for latch key. I receive it. And the game goes ahead and gives me a heckin' look down. That's, we're going... Oh, We've got Mother here as well. My lord. This is going to be spicy. This is going to be spicy. Oh, god damn, yeah. These, I, I, I'm seeing some visual improvements here. These look good. Oh, god. I forgot that enemy did that. <laughs> oh, my lord. Right. Let's be careful. We need to be careful. We have, a, we have a pretty good lot in life. We've just unfortunately taken some bad pills so far. The good thing, though, is we've kind of taken those bad pills now which means we know not to take them again and which also means we should probably end up um we should probably end up getting some the, the good versions of those pills sometime soon i hope man these enemies are very difficult <laughs> uh, exploding a leech is just such overkill i love it like, oh i walked right into that 
right into that. We got Boil Baby. I think we can do better than Boil Baby, right? I think we can do better than Boil Baby. Oh, lots of money. Good, good. Petrified Poop has been amazing. Yeah, Conehead gives us a Soul Heart. Gives us a chance to uh, not take damage. I think it's a 25% chance to not take projectile-based damage. I think that's pretty good going. Especially the Soul Heart. The Soul Heart's really what I needed. We'll, we'll more than likely be able to get one from our shop as well, but like... I don't know, just be able to get one there. One one thing to note as well, the the be, the, the improved backdrops mod also has new doors. Well, they're, they are optional, you don't have to use them, because uh, there's obviously the better doors mod that we normally use. I'm still using the normal better doors mod, uh, rather than the one from this mod. So hopefully... Oh my god, missed out on this. Uh, hopefully, you guys like the better doors mod a little better. I personally do, I don't know. I think the ones from the mod are also really, really good. Uh, Oh, there is um, <laughs> some funkiness going on with that door mimic over there. You see that? <laughs> That's kind of funny. A double black heart. That's super useful. I wouldn't have spotted that door mimic if it hadn't have been for that. I know that for a fact. Right, I'm a little worried about this room just because these enemies scare me. Especially with Explosiva. Explosiva is a brilliant item, but it can be a little dangerous to mess around with. But for me, yeah, I think visual improvement-wise, if I could sort of pick a visual improvement to make, I'd probably say, like, um... I don't know. I, I, it's kind of hard to pick. I'd maybe say, like, the the angel and devil enemies uh, and, like, you know, the fallen angels. I think, I think they're a little lacking and could be a bit better. Uh, they don't feel quite as sort of holy and... and I don't know, they don't have as much emphasis as, as you'd expect them to have. Oh, we're getting some great items here. Devil Deal, no thank you. I'm going to exit and leave this room so that these poops then drop items. Oh, look at that. Full soul hearts. Yeah, these poops are now actually drop stuff. If you if you blow them up while they're in the room, they don't get affected. Uh, they, they, like, they act as like something else, some other entity. And so you, you don't get any drops from them. Got a lot of drops here. It's really good. Right, let's go back over. See what our shop's got on offer for us here. Oh god, this is a oh god, this is a tragedy of a room. I am certainly going to get fucked over here. Dude, 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 fuck you. <laughs> Dumpies when there's like no rocks to like keep you safe. Scary as hell. Scary as hell. Ooh, also some Ipecac enemies in here. I would love it if I could uh coax you over. Oh damn it. Oh, we got a secret room. Do you know what? Pretty good. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not a secret room that's really worth much to us, I'll be honest. But that was uh, pretty good going. I was trying to get him to blow up that uh, the, the stone bits so I could get that chest. I ended up getting something better, really. Okay, stop spewing all your shit everywhere. Okay. I think Smelt... This is a difficult one. Because Smelt is really, really good. But... But... We will no longer be able to generate poops as often, which makes Petrified Poop nowhere near as good. I still think we should take it, though. I still think it's very good. It makes Trinkets appear more often as well. There's a Tinted Rock up there, unfortunately, that we can't get. Uh, but yeah, I, I think Smelt is still good. And I actually think Smelt is a really fun um, fun item for modded runs. Because we actually get to, um, we get to play around a little bit with some of the modded Trinkets that we maybe don't get to see so often or don't get to try so often. Um, I think modded trinkets are always just a really, really fun aspect of, uh, of modding. Oh, that was a good hit. I mean, I'm annoyed at it because I think it was kind of bullshit, but I respect you for it. Fully respect you for it. Right. Get gone, Dumpy. Okay, so yeah, just remember to destroy poops as we see them, but we're not going to end up finding as many as we were before because we're not getting one a room anymore. We're going to be getting a little, little less money on average. This is a horrible room. Um, a little less money on average, but I think it should be okay. I, oh, I've said it many times before, but I really dislike Dumpies as enemies. <laughs> I only use the mod because it adds new rooms, and new rooms is just good for the game in general. Okay, yeah, so we'll destroy all these poops in here. Ooh, this is a bit of a, a bit of a saucy room, actually. Because we're going to not be able to hit this guy so easily because of these uh, these bouncy dudes. This is actually the best, best option for us here, getting ourselves back into this little corner. Okay. Oh, that's really good too. Really good. Soul heart and a half there. So much money as well from that room. Awesome. 
Might be able to get another item here. It'd be nice if um, if there was a, a mod that just made it so that shops could sell trinkets. I don't know if that would be too strong, but I'd love to see shops and trinkets a little more. Um, tr trinkets in shops a little more often. Because uh, I know that they can show up if you're playing as, um, as Tainted Keeper. But otherwise, I don't think they can. I don't know if there's any circumstance in which they can other than that. It'd be nice. Okay, some more poops there. We've got some thingy rocks here. I'll at least go for one of these. Yeah, because I'm going to say if we get one of these. Red hearts are always good, but the red runes, yeah. Uh, okay, so we've got a bunch of poops here. Oh, okay. Um, I feel like picking this up is an interesting prospect. <laughs> I, the, the double petrified poop is a little strange, but we'll take it. Okay. A mod dips to help us out. Blue Baby is just so much more of a fun character now. It really is. But yeah, I do, th I do think Petrified Poop does stack. So we're going to get drops quite a bit more often. And we can smell it. So now we have double smelted Petrified Poop. Can we maybe go for a triple? <laughs> right, we'll check this out. Do you know what? I think that's a, a more than fine item to pick up. It gives us some keys um, just for having it. And it's going to make chests significantly better for the rest of the run. We're getting it early enough for it to be very valuable as well. Poops everywhere at the minute. It's great. Right. Check out item room two. $3 bill is a hell yes for me. I love $3 bill. I know it can be a little bit dangerous, but I really like it. Okay, we want to be doing this. And with our flight here, we can grab these keys. Rather nice. We can also go in here. I think we should. Okay, also, the, this room looks amazing. No way, we got Devil Deal. Okay, um... I think we want to take this. And it gives us a tears up, so maybe we want this. Yeah, let's take it, why not? Um... Okay, now we're out. Okay, we're through. Let's just be careful because we do have some harder rooms here. Careful for anything that can shoot over rocks and stuff. We get a bunch more poops in these rooms though, which is very nice for us. Good, good. Yeah, just be careful for like the fire mine shots, things like that. Anything that's going to be a, a major problem for us. Which isn't many things to be honest, but still, they, they do exist. Good, good. Grab that. Um, I don't want to bother with the with the double boss fight, I'll be honest. I don't think we really need to go for that. So I'm just going to leave that be. I'm, I'm glad that we got that angel deal, though. That was rather nice. And, they, and the fact that now we have, um, we have permanent flight here is really, really good. Really, really good. I think getting flight early is super valuable. There's so many things behind rocks in this game. And it stops you getting those bloody troll block rooms where it's like, here's an item that you can't get. Lol. So annoying. So it's glad to, I'm, I'm like happy that doesn't <laughs> have to be a problem for us anymore. Shielded Tears plus Explosivo there, really nice. Obviously, I know we don't have Shielded Tears itself, but still. That was a little tricky. I don't know how I didn't get hit there, but I'm going to accept it. <laughs> Did you know that $3 bill can give you Luck Foot <laughs> as well? Um, and uh, Magneto as well. Right, so we'll, we'll smelt this. I'm, 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 I'm all the way into that uh, the, the, the Wiggle Worm Trinket. And yes, we will go with Blood Clot and... Ooh, I did not consider... I did not consider the fact that we need another bomb. We don't have to get one this floor, but it would be a good idea. Let's go check our shop out and see. What we might need to do is we might need to, yeah, restock the shop here. Fortunately not. Okay. We're going to have to leave that be. Right. Okay. We're going to have to gamble here. We might not be able to do Mother. That's the one thing about getting Mother as your option. Sometimes you just don't get the opportunity. It's a little annoying when that happens, but it, it is what it is. I, I, I used a bomb accidentally, not thinking about it, so it's my own fault. But we do have another floor to get there, so don't worry. We can crisscross. Oh, oh, oh yes. Wait. Oh, we have 2020 for, for this room. I was like, why are we shooting so many shots? So here... There is a um, a nice fine little rock there, but we cannot blow that up yet. Sad that we can't get explosivos a proc. Ooh, so here's our first bomb. 
Yeah, so in case you're wondering why I took, uh, why I, I smelted the wiggle worm, it's mainly for the spectral, because we have flight with spectral is so good. Um, I don't know, does Holy Grail normally give you spectral? Maybe it does. Another tinted rock. But I can't, I can't remember. I don't think it does. But yeah, you can see like these pillars in the walls here that are like a new part of the, uh, the floor's backdrop. And like this little etching around the edge of the room. Looks really nice. Very fitting. I like to see it. <gasps> My god, soul heart from a poop. A good draw. Uh, what we got here? Okay, that's unfortunately a double bomb door. We can't do anything with that right now. Oh, we should really go back and grab that. I can't quite hit this dude. My 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 spec my wiggle worm shots just going straight past him. Hey, yeah, see, look, we got Magneto there. Um, no, thank you. So we're now looking for more trinkets. But remember, with having um, the smelter, you do find more trinkets. So we are going to end up getting a few. There you go. Replace dimes with golden pennies. Do you know what? It's it's potentially worse, but on average, it's going to be better, I think. So yeah, and obviously dimes are rare as it is anyways. So that's a pretty good trinket. That I like that. Whoa, that was a that was a double hit there, back to back. Okay. Right, let's keep her going. Oh, this is a this is a room and a half. Oh my god. Oh, I need to use my red rune at some point as well. I've been kind of forgetting about that. If I get a better item from my boss, I should use it. This is a hard room. Okay. Still haven't found an item room. There it is. Oh, this is a bunch of poops as well. Hell yes. And just a bunch of dumpies that... It's a dumpy room that doesn't have spikes. I just realized. It's a, it's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> Oh my god, look at the amount of pennies we're getting. It's beautiful. Oh, I just walked into that fire, stupidly. But one great thing as well is we get a bunch of red hearts from destroying poops, which gives us even bigger of an army. Love it. Unfortunately, not very good, so I'm just going to turn that into a wisp. Like, that would literally be equivalent to one soul heart. Like, we literally just got that whole item in this room here as a random drop. <laughs> it says a lot, so yeah. Uh, would much rather just smelt that up. Restock is potentially good. Ballot's one of those ones that I, I I like it, but I don't think we need it. Right, we've now got three bombs as well. Right, let's let's skedaddle skadoodle. Remember to go to the uh, next floor for it, the correct next floor. I love the fact that the boss rooms are all bloody now. Oh, the dips just saved my life there. The uh, Gerdy can't like charge through the dips. Ooh, Salsa. Extra health and a random stat up each floor. I like it. That's just range for now, but we'll see what we get on the next the next floor. And there's Magneto affecting us again. It's very strange, but there you go. Right, so what, what stat upgrade are we going to get this floor? Uh, we got uh, Fire It. Nice. One of the better ones to get for us. There goes the nails. Whoa, -hoo -hoo. Oh, we got Curse of Rebirth. Enemies have a chance to be reborn. Okay, hopefully we get a few trinkets from this floor as well. Oh god, that was a bad hit. Fine, though, these enemies are particularly difficult. Ooh, the rebirth curse. Just gotta remember that rebirth exists. I really thought I was gonna heavily dislike the rebirth curse and end up disabling it, because you can disable the curses individually on this mod. Um, the on the curse collection. I really thought I was going to like heavily dislike it and end up disabling it, but I'm actually, I actually don't find it too bad. It's like, it doesn't happen every single time. Like, it's not like every single enemy you kill rebirths. A lot of the time that happens there, where an enemy rebirths and you immediately kill it again, because there's already tears in place ready to attack it sort of thing. And um, yeah, a lot of the time it just doesn't end up being that big of an issue. There's some enemies like these smaller ones that can be a little more annoying. But generally, I think it's um, it's nowhere near as bad as I expected. Grab that. I'm really liking these new backdrops. They look really good. That was <laughs> that was kind of funny. That guy charged right into the ghosts. Health is health is um, looking really really good. We've been doing fine for health. We've just been getting a lot of soul heart drops in general. I don't think we've really been doing anything particularly special or different. 
I'm going to keep taking pills because I know there's a health up pill and a, and a look up pill somewhere in there. I'm just hoping there's no fire rate downs for me. Oh, what the hell? Golden. Dude, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. Who, who designed these? That's amazing. That's so cool. I love that. That is genuinely awesome. Someone made a golden bomb variant of those bomb flies. I love that. That's such a cool design. I don't know who made that. I think that will be from um, Gwenna's Creatures. I can't remember the pronunciation. Uh, but that got an update recently that added some new monsters. So I'm assuming that's what it's from. Uh, but they are awesome. I love those. That's a really, really cool design. Okay, rebirth on the, on the Skelly Bob. Seems to happen about, like, twice per room on average, the rebirths. Ooh. So here, this is actually a broken heart. If we pick that up, we gain one broken heart, but we gain one full heart. Obviously, as Blue Baby, basically terrible. But as other characters, that's pretty positive. Nice. It, on the map, it's even a broken heart there, look. You gotta be careful, though. If you accidentally pick those up, you're gonna be sad. Okay, every single thing in this room rebirthed. Okay, this is kind of a tricky one. Okay, there you go, there you go. Come on, dude. There you go. We get a glitched heart here, tends to a double heart. Yay! We get dips. Unfortunately, nothing here that we want. Ah, oh, I thought it was going to explode in time there. Not quite. Pop your head up, little fella. Pop your head up. Come on. There you go. Whoa, he fucking rebirth. It's okay, though. Oh, hello. Just a straight up gigabomb. Thank you. Unfortunately, we're not doing too well on the trinket front. I was hoping to have a few more by now. And we just kind of don't. This is a lot of enemies here. Holy hell. Oh, okay. That room kind of ended itself. Ooh, spider babby? Nah, let's go with... Oh, there you go. Chocolate milk. I like it. Chocolate milk's great. Kind of a weird item to get as a surprise, but I still like it nonetheless. We've got a pretty good charge speed on it, too. And also, we can tap fire it, which is pretty nice. Ooh. Whoa, what the fuck? Someone figured out you could do this? What the hell? <laughs> what the fuck is this? What happened to you, Chaos Carden? This is amazing. I hate it, but I love it. Like, I, I have to say, I'm much more in love with it right now because I have flight. <laughs> if I didn't have flight and get over these rocks in the corner, I don't know how much I'd like this. This is cool, though. Who the hell figured out you could do this? <laughs> that's, that's very entertaining. It looks terrible. It looks really janky, but it's, it's really good. I like it. Oh, hello. That's where you are. It's kind of better for us to tap shoot just because of um, Explosiva. Because I believe the explosion damage is kind of flat. So no matter how low our tier damage is, we're going to get good explosion damage. So we might as well just tap shoot and get as many explosives on the enemy as we can. Do you know what I mean? If you know what I am saying. Oh god, he's on me. <laughs> it is kind of weird because a lot of his attacks obviously kind of play on the fact that he's at the top of the screen. So when he's at the bottom of the screen, the attacks can't really do anything. Kind of a weird, a weird way of doing it, really. But I like it. I like it. It's something unique. It's what modding's all about, though, isn't it? Doing kind of different and wacky things. Oh, I tell you what. I'm having kind of a hard time playing Isaac right now. Like, not, not a super hard time, but like... The, the finger that I used to tap the up arrow for firing firing above me, um, I actually burnt, like really badly burnt, the tip of my finger yesterday. Um, I got a, a cast iron skillet over Christmas and I really wanted to make smash burgers, which are basically like, what, it's when you make like a circle of meat and then you just like, well, a circle of beef and then you just press it onto the, uh, the like really hot uh, cast iron pan. Um, so I made some of those and they, were, and they were amazing, like genuinely just amazing. Um, but what we got here uh but i've just just touched oh crown of light as well hell yes oh also new angel statue um i just touched like a tiny little bit the um 
the, the, the surface of the pan as I went to layer one of the burgers in it. And yeah, uh, as you can imagine, it really badly burned because it was a cast iron skillet at, at like ridiculous heats. Oh, this looks so awesome. Um, and yeah, it, it burnt me pretty bad. So I got like a really sort of big blister on the tip of my finger. And the tip of my finger is exactly where I end up touching the um, the key to fire upwards. And because I'm using chocolate milk now, I'm tap firing, which is whenever I fire upwards, hurting significantly more. Right. Let's go do our puzzle. This shouldn't be too bad. Obviously, we, we don't get our flight uh, inherently here, but... Otherwise, it should be okay. We do, however, get our fly, which a lot of the puzzles involve destroying poops. So if we have any of those, the fly does actually destroy poops. So we'll have a much easier time of getting through those specific puzzles. You watch, we won't get any of those now. But if that does end up being the case, we have a little bit of an out. Isaac. For the most part, I'm prepared here. I think we should be okay. Especially ones like this. Rooms like that are easy peasy. And that one's pretty easy as well. Yeah, like like this. We can get through these a little quicker. I might get hit here. Nope, I'm good. Oh, that fly rebirth. Okay, luckily we killed it straight away. The fly rebirth, it scared the shit out of me. Because I was like, oh no, I'm going to walk straight into it. This room's so laggy. It's all right though, we're actually kind of blazing through this area right now. Right, do your thing. Do your thing, do your thing. Okay. Don't know why I walked right into you there, but I did, so it's done. I got a half soul heart out of the poop though, so I can't be too mad. Right, we're going to the next floor with pretty good health anyways here. And just a fantastic set of items, to be honest. We've not really got anything modded though, like at all. We've got like the salsa, and that's literally it. We've got that one trinket that we smelted, and salsa, and they're only two modded things. It's really weird how, how that can happen sometimes, where you get these... You get these runs where obviously you've got tons of mods and loads of modded items, but you don't end up getting many modded items. I mean, they're fine. Oh my god, Mausoleum looks amazing. This looks so good. Um, one thing I will say um, is I have seen a few people suggest there's a mod out there that, um, that makes modded items appear more often, and a few people have suggested um, using that. And I'll be honest with you, I won't ever use that because, oh my god, that was such a bad hit. Um, I won't ever use that, mainly because I, I like the balance between vanilla and modded. Like, I feel like a lot of the time modded items are stronger anyways, and so if you have just modded items or like a higher chance of modded items, you get a much, you, you do get to see more of them, but um, you end up having on, on average much more powerful runs. And on top of that, the sort of bigger thing is I feel like when you when you see modded items just as as sort of vanilla mixed in with the vanilla items, the modded items can feel a little more special and a little more unique, and especially if it takes you a long time to find a really cool one the first time you find it, it's a lot more exciting. So I think having them show up even more often, um, while it's not a terrible thing, it's going to take away some of that charm. What, what cares do we have right now? Cares the blind, okay. Ooh, we get some loaded dice, nice. Plus 10 look for a room. Might as well just pop it in this room, see if we can get ourselves a, a trinket from finishing the room. I could just walk into that spiked rock. That'd be a, a good idea, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, I forgot we had a gigabomb. Amazing. Ooh, panic button's an interesting one. I'll definitely smelt that up. Most definitely. I like the idea of having the loaded dice in a room, uh, in an arcade room. But yeah, I think this is one of the floors in particular that they said, like, would regularly be, um, be darker. But, um, if you don't have stage API, it isn't. God, I'm getting hit a lot right now. Not good. Hey, that's what I want. I want trinkets. Yes! Although... No. <laughs> no. 
I don't know why Purple Heart do Oh, no way. That guy just telefragged me. I don't know why Purple Heart doesn't have a benefit. Like, it... Well, obviously, it has the benefit of champion drops. But, like, it doesn't give you a stat increase. Dude, this is... I'm getting telefragged like crazy right now. Look at that. He spawned on me. I'm, I'm, I'm lucky enough to be not getting hit by it. I'm so annoyed. Right. We're absolutely killing it, though. I think even for our health, we're looking pretty good. I don't need to worry too much at all. Ooh, one of these dudes. I'm really loving our tears as well, though, with the wavy... The wiggle worm plus the diamonds that are all, like... Various different multicolored. It's it's really nice. Okay, I saw that coming. Oh, this is a really good set of tears to have for, for this. Okay. Oh, shock. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, God. Oh, you're a homing bastard. No. Why aren't... Why am I completely failing to understand how this enemy works for a second there? Ooh, beggars have a 25% chance to respawn after being bombed and 5% chance to respawn after their final payout. Why not? I think I just accidentally used my smelter on nothing there. That was good. Buy this. PhD. Hell yes. It's a health up as well. Very blessed. Ooh, Brimstone boy. No thank you. But yeah, the, the, the double damage from um, from Crown of Light were just absolutely shredding. Good, good. We haven't seen our item room yet. Let's go back for that somewhere. God's sake. No, just... Nah, bye. Not interested. I got hit twice in that room. Don't care. That is a horrible room. What's people's obsession with placing ghosts everywhere? No one likes ghosts. <laughs> oh, I think we got um, Wiz shot here. Oh, we don't know what we're getting, do we? Do you know what? Rune bag is a hell of a good one to get. I will take Rune bag in a heartbeat. Hopefully, we get some good runes for later on. Soul of Isaac, stuff like that. We're only on Moz 1. So we've got, we've got, we do have an item coming to us here. Siren's probably going to take our uh, friends. Oh, God. This attack from the Siren always throws me off because of the visuals. Like, the, the little, like, radiating effect she has on her. What the hell? My knife hit me on the way towards her. Binky, thank you. I needed that health. Smell that bad boy. A little annoyed. A little annoyed some of the hits I took on that floor. They were pretty bad. But we got the health to make up for it. Also, Binky, I'm surprised we haven't had any damage ups yet apart from Crown of Light. Obviously, I'm pretty happy with the fact that we have Crown of Light. Oh my god, what the fuck is going on in this room? Ah, I think Explosivo stuck to the skulls and just knocked them around. Uh, but yeah, I would, I would actually like some, some normal damage ups as well. Hello, Stevens. Wasn't expecting to see you here. Some interesting rooms for this floor. Grab that real quick. Oh god, I, I very, I very deeply dislike this room too. <laughs> we got Curse of Conquest right now, right? Yeah, I love these new curses, they're amazing. I'm forgetting we've got the extra chest drops thing going on. Forgot we had Mum's Key. Hey, a luck penny? Oh, there's the soul hearts we desire. That's what we needed. Beautiful. I'll just give us some more trinkets and I'll be very happy. Okay. This room is ooh, difficult. I love it when we get like a 2020 going on. My god. Oh, look at the amount of dips we got there. And a... Oh, I'm, I'm in love. We got a, a ton of dips. A fire rate going on. It's just beautiful. I do wish Smelter would pop off a little more. Though. Whoa, what the hell was that? The... What? Earther charges your active item. I really like the way that drops. That's really cool. Look at that. Woo. That's so cool. Okay. Uh, we don't need to use that yet, but that's a really, really cool new drop. Also, this is a, yeah, hellish room. 
I kind of had to take the hit on the nurse there and just accept it. Oh, my game crashed, unfortunately. I believe that was due to an enemy trying to be conquested that couldn't. That's what I'm going to assume it was. I'm going to have to redo this whole floor now, though. I'll keep the recording going because it'll be easy to reboot this game. Hopefully that doesn't happen again on the same room because we might have to go through that room. What we'll do is we'll avoid the room as much as possible and then just hope for the best, I guess. That's kind of the best way forward, I think. Right. Let's continue this. Okay. Let's do the room as normal. Okay, this room, let's play a little smarter this time. Because last time I, I really buggered it. Okay, do you know what? I, I, I buggered it equally here. I see. I appear to have buggered it equally. I don't remember where the tinted rock was. Oh, uh, this was the Steven room. Okay. We can deal with this again. Explosivo's doing a good job. Oh! Damn it! Explosivo kind of knocks the enemies around a bit and fires the tears off in weird directions that I'm not expecting. It's okay, that's okay. Right. I can't remember which way we did go. Don't think we went this way ever. Spawn a pickup on entering a secret room. Yeah, 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 nice. Basically, this is a sack every secret room. Ooh, this is a lot of bishops. Um, This is a really cool design for a room. It is very difficult, though. But then again, I keep saying that. I've got to remember that most runs, you're going to have a lot more damage than I have. Like, just because I have Crown of Light doesn't actually mean my damage is that high. My damage is only 7.5. And it's even lower than that per tier because we're tap firing. We've actually got considerably quite low damage. Ooh, this is a this is a room that we really want to uh, try. Oh my god, try and get involved with uh, destroying some of these skulls to get some black hearts and stuff. Don't do it until the room's over though. Got the healy dude, aren't you? Is there more? Yes, there is. There's quite a lot more actually. God damn. Okay, so shop, we'll check that out. Unfortunately, it doesn't really matter for us, but we'll at least get that. Cyanide. cyanide. Oh, <laughs> that was so weird. I said cyanide, and then, of course, my, like, because I do the voiceover for the pill, I then said cyanide. That's so, oh, hello. That was so weird. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I love the fact that Keta Conquest can make champions from enemies that spawn in the, like, the after the room starts. Thank you for piercing. Wait, did, did we already have piercing? I feel like we did, but maybe we didn't. I don't think we did, actually. Okay, so I'll try and recognize the room before we walk into it and do a, do a save. Okay, this was a horrible room. I remember that for sure. It's a cool design for a room, definitely, but it's still kind of evil. Yeah, you get all our poopies going. Right, so let's just do a quick exit and continue here. So we get a save point here. Okay, so here's the tinted rock room. With a luck penny. Oh, that's so much health. We got a double lock, so we have to spend two keys, but we got ex an extra two soul hearts out of that. No, extra one soul heart out of that. Okay, actually, I don't think we had piercing before, thinking about it. This is actually very, very nice. I think we've just had piercing through $3 bill enough for me to think I had piercing, sort of thing. Another luck penny here. Yeah, I really don't remember which way it was now, I'm going to be honest. I do remember going through this room, so let's let's change direction here. Okay. Swallowed an M80, why not? Let's do another save here. It probably won't crash again, but I'm just trying to be safe. Oh, oh my god, the rooms with these these fear dudes are so scary, which is <laughs> kind of funny. But yeah, oh my god. Right. Good to go. 
Oh, I th yeah, I remember. I think it was the room after this room, wasn't it? Yeah, it was this room. It was this room. Okay. So luckily it didn't crash this time. It's kind of funny how the, the brain was mini and it made the dude mini, but then as soon as the brain left the body, the body scaled up to full size. Okay, maybe I was wrong. <laughs> maybe I was wrong. Okay, we're going to have to see. Let's hope that that doesn't happen again. If it does, we do have a way out. Because we play with a console on, we can actually give ourselves an Emperor card um, and just teleport to the boss. That tends to be what I do uh, if we get stuck in a situation like this. Because this is this is essentially a soft lock. It's not really a soft lock. It's more of a hard lock. But yeah. <laughs> so we'll see if it happens again. Do apologize for this, people. Right, so... Okay, so we don't need to go through this room. So basically, after the room with the brimstones, we do another save. Get this. Okay, so now we save here. And then next room should be fine. It must be a certain enemy type turning to a champion that causes it. Okay, so yeah, it happened there, look. Right, this might be something that I need to report to Prayan who's the person that makes the, the curse collection. I do apologize for this, people. I, I realize that this isn't the best viewing experience, especially when it's a black screen most of the time. But we do need to figure this out. What I think is happening is the game is trying to make the, um, the body part of that brain dude. I don't know the name of that enemy, but the, the, the body itself, the actual like husk, cannot be a champion. And the game, because the brain is inside of that husk, the, the body, it happened again. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have to keep trying this. I'll be right back, guys. I will pause the video for now. Okay, we are back. Unfortunately, it's just a constant crash. I'll have to tell Prian about that because it seems to be an issue of his. So I've given myself an Emperor card. We're at the boss, and we're just gonna keep going. Unfortunately, it does mean we have to skip a few rooms. But I th I think all of you agree that this is a this is sort of the best option we had really. God, I, I love this boss. This boss is so good. I need to be kind of careful though, because I I have very little damage right now. Like once I basically once I get hit, I'm kind of screwed, which actually doesn't bode well for us on the actual mother fight itself. Because once we get hit, we're gonna have a hard time. We'll melt that up. We'll grab that. Hopefully, we get something good here. Now, stairway. Because I I I feel like stairway we kind of have to take. Because those other items weren't that good. Um, so we need the chance to get at least one really good angel deal item, like a sacred heart or something. Of course, the problem being right now we only have 24 cent, which means we could end up going to the next floor and finding one of the 30 cent items like Godhead that we subsequently can't afford. That's nice. Now, we could end up getting saved by that trinket that, that um, allows beggars to respawn because we could bomb the beggar and then bomb him again, potentially. Right. So, stairway. Let's go. Fucking knew it. I fucking knew it! Oh, you bitch. You, you goddamn bitch. Right, um... It did respawn him. Unfortunately, that's not very good for us because it didn't give us any money. You goddamn bitch. Um, I don't have anywhere to get any money, do I? I'm looking at my items and just frantically looking through to see if there's any way I can get the money to afford it. That's so annoying. I mean, I'll kill this guy in the rare chance that completing the room drops like a golden penny. It dropped a penny. Not quite what I was looking for. I am very annoyed. I knew this was going to happen. I could just feel it deep down. There ain't nothing I can do, I don't think. 
I don't think there's anything I can do to make this work. Do you know how depressed I am right now? That that would have literally solved all of our problems. Give us a huge damage up and homing. Would have just been crazy good. Oh, of course we have Explosivo still for that damage, but still, it could have been so much better. We've got another floor to give us give us an opportunity. If we can get to a, a second floor with 30 cent in our back pocket, there's a chance. I'm really annoyed at the um that the idea with the, the beggar actually works, but I didn't get money from either beggar that blew up. <laughs> You're so funny, game. You're so funny. At least I got the money for the next floor now. But you know what's going to happen, though, don't you? We're going to get offered some absolute shit. Like, calling it now, we're going to get offered Little Delirium or, like, Void. They're, they're the items that I'm, I'm expecting to see. It'd be cool if, um, with this blue baby, uh, it might be a little powerful, but with this, uh, this blue baby, um, rework, instead of just starting him with petrified poop, just make it so that he automatically gulps any poop-related trinkets. I think that'd maybe be a better way, because I do think it is a little strong to start with petrified poop. Justice. Right. Hopefully we can get some good bomb uh, economy going on as well and get get ready for for the uh, the boss that way. Having a good amount of bombs is always good for mother because you can do that bomb strat to stop her from charging you in the uh, second phase, which is very nice. And there you go. There's some bombs there. Also, having a bunch of poops available to us would be really nice too. Oh god, such a dumb decision. I didn't realize the spiky boys were uh, were there. Bit dumb of me. Bit dumb of me. Nevertheless, it's fine. It's fine. Bomb these, see if we can get anything. Ah. You can sometimes get some good stuff from those. I thought, why not? I'm not sure if it's um, the, the new backdrops or what, but I am getting a bit of frame drops on this floor particularly. The other floors have all been fine, but I don't know what it is about this floor. Okay, lots of poops going on. <laughs> I love that sort of thing. It's just like that chain reaction. I'm just kind of hoping we go the right way here and don't take a really long time to find where we need to be going. Go. That always happens on this floor. It always takes forever to actually find the boss. Don't know what boss it'll end up being either. I'm kind of more into the idea of rock gut with the current build we have set up. This enemy hurts my soul. Someone make a mod that just removes it from the game forever. Good, what was that? Oh, it was this thing. Creates a Mamma Mega explosion in the current room. That's pretty cool. We're getting some cool new, uh, some cool new consumables from the Andromeda mod, I believe. Careful of these little teleporting bastards. Butter. Butter is not something I want smelted, thank you. Oh, we got a, a red rune here. I don't really need it right now, but there you go. Well, this is a strange corpse looking room. Not seen this one before. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm, I'm at like 30 FPS right now. I really don't feel the build that I have would warrant this low FPS. I'm hoping it's not the backdrops causing issues, but I, I doubt it. Maybe there's some exceptions. There is some exceptions, but it's not anything that's happened here. Ah, oh, we got Scourge. Scourge can be a really hard boss. I think Explosivo does lend itself to be a bit easier on this dude, but I was just about to say he is going to hit us and lose our damage, but we got him nonetheless. Ah, oh, PGS is pretty good. Not what I was looking for, really, because it only gave us a few hearts at the end of the day, but not bad. Right, Stairway is back. Please provide us with something of use. That's pretty good. Shots create um, light beams, damage up, tears down. Chalky milk. Oh. Oh, yeah, this is going to be good. 
This is going to be good. With Chucky Mills, we can fire this at full fire rate. Oh. Okay, our, our worries have been quelled. All the problems I had off of C, off of Saw, for Saw, for C, for Saw, for C Saw, um, should be fine now. Because now we have light beams and explosions. A lot of light beams as well. It seems to have spawned literally one every hit. Seems absurd, but I will take it. I think we've had this item like once before, but it seems to be quite the rarity. Ooh, hello. Consume all items and pickups in the room. Each pickup has a 50% chance of turning into a wisp pedestal item. Uh, pedestal items are guaranteed to give five special wisps. Okay. We'll see what we end up getting from our room. Maybe if we open a chest, it'd be good to use it on that. Oh my god. This is going to be crazy on the boss. Absolutely nuts. Oh my god, the noise. Just the noise alone. I guess I'll smelt finger burn, even though it's not very good. Right, here's the boss itself. We can mama mega as well to do some damage. Revive you as Eve when you die. That's a really good trinket to get just before we head in here, just in case. Right, we'll pop that. Doesn't even do that much damage. Just... Try and go as long as we possibly can without taking damage here so that we keep our double damage. It would be nice to at least get second phase before we take damage, which honestly depends on the attacks this, the, the mother does. If she does the tennis ball one, I'm screwed. I, I don't think I've ever successfully gotten through that without uh, without her hitting me. We are, we're looking pretty good though here. Explosivo's doing great work. There we go, second phase, nice one. That's what we're looking for. I'm feeling a lot more confident now. And this should be our seventh win. I love this light beam. It's so good. Still sad I couldn't have had Sacred Heart with it. It would have been muy bien very spicy, but that's just how it is. Okay, this is probably where I lose my damage. It's a very hard attack to dodge in general, but when you've got the lag on top of it, yeah, there you go. It becomes very, very difficult. But at the end of the day, I don't really think we need the damage anymore. I think we're pretty much okay, despite it. Oh god damn, that hit me. Ah oh, shit, I, I knew that was gonna hit me. I'm so dumb. It's okay though, look, she's dead. We're good. Right, that was a pretty awesome run. I had a very fun little bit of uh, action there with the light beams towards the end. That's always uh, always nice to see. And uh, yeah, these, these backdrops for this mod, really, really good. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.